sure enjoyed reading A Snicker of Magic. And you remember, Felicity Pickle collected all of her favorite words in a little small blue notebook. So today, pre-teens, that's what we're going to do. I started mine, and I brought just a great amount of things because we want to bedazzle up our notebook. So you might think about putting something down the spine to jazz it up, but for your cover, make sure you put just a few things so that we can balance it out and put the things that are most important to you. For me, of course, just like Felicity, it was family and home. And here is that dove of hope that comes down right there on my book. And here are the mountains of Tennessee where Midnight Gulch is. Let's open it up. See what kind of words that I felt were important to me. Here's my first one. I made it so that it's very creative, which is what I want you to do, so you can remember why these words were important to you in the first place. Here's my first word, tangle. My stomach gets in a tangle of knots, just like Felicity Pickles did in Midnight Gulch. Here's her favorite word, spin diddly. You see how I made it look like it was spinning? That's what it makes me think of. And here is a word with a lot of emotion. When I get overworked, I just start to feel all angry and out of control. Don't you? Find a word that you can use emotion with. And finally, I found my calm. I used a giant W to write the word wilderness. So enjoy. Let's start making our very own word collector notebook so that we and begin collecting words that are important to us, just like Felicity Pickle.